if you are someone who uses orgrom to collectively store your notes you can have uh, there is a package called orgrom ui actually it's not available in melpa but uh, you can install it via git so what it does is actually it creates a linked graph of all the nodes you have created so for example i have created something over here so control cnf and uh, it's called breach assessment this is what i'm currently working on so if i do an orgrom ui orgrom uh, ui open this is going to open up a ui of uh, my current orgrom file which is like represented in a graphical form so this is that actually so if i zoom in with the uh, scroll wheel you can see like uh, this is how it looks like so the main advantage of this is like if i navigate to something so if i do a control c and f to find a node and uh, before that like uh, let me increase the font size so here i have this reconnaissance node so if i navigate to this reconnaissance node control c and f and if i type reconnaissance you can see currently it moves automatically to the reconnaissance node and it will show you all the connected links and here if i want to have uh, something else like uh, if i need to move to something like active scanning for example so if i do a control c and f active scanning you can see the ui navigates over there so this is a good way of uh, keeping track of information um, depending on your project so that's that you have options to customize your graph uh, you have options for 2d two-dimensional and three-dimensional graphs so something that looks like this so you can zoom in and find uh, more information about this if you have specified or else you can keep a 2d graph and you can zoom in and uh, you can see all the details over here and if you click one node and if you click this button over here you can have like uh, linked references if you have some notes inside those references that will be displayed over here so you can toggle the view if you want then you have options for your filter you have options for your physics you have options for uh, visual changes like you can change colors and all these things so if i click this uh, let me minimize this for a second so if i click this it's going to change the color scheme you can see the dots are changing and i can change the theme over here so something like that so the way you install this is pretty simple you have to go to this uh, wiki page like uh, ogrom ui github page from here you clone uh, this repository then open up your terminal terminal you navigate to dot emaxt inside dot emaxt you create a directory private so after creating this directory you navigate to that directory and you do a git clone followed by the link so if you do that it's going to clone uh, this repository of ogrom ui to your system so after doing that you can close out your terminal and you can open up your emacs and control x control f for file browser dot emacs d uh, have my dot emacs d inside this i have my configuration file so my current configuration is config.al so I have this portion called ogrom let me increase my font size 
so inside this i have specified two things apart from more grom configuration so add to list load path and i have specified the path to the git repository we have cloned so that is inside dot emacsd inside the private directory we have this ogrom ui so that's the path of uh, ogrom ui and after doing that you can load the library ogrom ui so that's pretty simple so you need to install two more packages so the name of the packages are like websocket and simple httpd so you have to open up your emacs and altex and you have to package install and you have to install these two packages websocket and simple httpd i sorry i forgot to mention that before so websocket and uh, simple httpd you can see that over here so i will leave the link in the description which you can use for uh, your references so after doing that you can like have uh, you, if you have created some nodes with ogrom or i already have something over here so i'm going to use that for the demonstration so if i do a control c and f it's going to give me available nodes so i have this uh, bridge report bridge assessment so this is something i'm working on for my office so for this one if i need to open up the user interface i can do meta x or alt x or dash ui open or ui mode either one will open up a browser yeah so this is currently which i'm working on the project which i'm working on so if i zoom in with my mouse scroll wheel you can see like all the details are being visible as you go nearby so if you want to move something you can click and drag them no options for that you can customize them with options over here so the main advantages of using something like this is like uh, currently i'm performing a breach assessment so for this case uh, i can go to like if i open up my emacs over here in a smaller window if i want to see just this one uh, like reconnaissance if i do a control c and f to find the node and reconnaissance if i move inside reconnaissance it's going to give me the visualization over here so i can link how the breach was done what reconnaissance have been done by the threat and all this stuff so if i click something over here i have options like uh, this brings up the connected nodes over here so if i have some references or nodes that will be displayed over here so i'm not going to show any of those information to you because those are confidential so that's how you use ogrom ui so i hope this one was helpful i hope you all have a wonderful day You have like excellent documentation for this over here so i hope uh, this one was helpful i hope you all have a wonderful day